What's going on guys? Afflicted Gamer here back with another division video. So I know that there are a lot of guides out there on how to complete the secret mission, but what I've noticed is that a lot of those guides are leaving out very important pieces of information and some people are also still speculating on what to do next in certain areas because their guides are actually incomplete because they didn't actually finish the mission. So here is the full guide in detail showing you the most direct route to each of the locations you have to go to in the order you have to go to them in so it will be a little bit longer of a video but i wanted to make a guide that was very clear and simple to use for absolutely everyone and you know you'll get to see all of the rewards that you get at the end parts of this video you will actually get to hear the original audio of what was going on while we were doing this so if you enjoyed the video drop a like on it it's much appreciated and if you're new to the channel hopefully you'll consider subscribing for more division content so first things first is you have to collect all 38 cell phones in the west side pier once you've done that you will go back and talk to sheila and you will get shd transmission number two the second step which people are bouncing back and forth with is you need to complete 15 rounds of resistance not get to wave 15 complete wave 15 in each round of resistance in the piers the carrier and the powerhouse it has to be on world tier 5 this cannot be done on world tier 1 you know where you've done however many rounds of it it doesn't matter it has to be on world tier 5 and you have to complete the 15 rounds if you're not sure where you're at you can come over to the resistance leaderboards here in camp clinton and make sure you have the waves done at this point the powerhouse wasn't updated for us but it was done sometimes it can be bugged if you do have this completed you'll have to log out of the game and then go ahead and log back into the game after that you'll have to go to each specific location on the map and activate the X's and you will hear certain sounds that will power up a door I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys listen to this part and then I'll be back the bottom floor cleared okay so I'll go first then it's the disco then it's the garage so here we go mine's done Mine's done. Mine's done. Power okay. Activated. Let's run to our spots. Okay, now that you have heard us do it live, this is what is going to have to happen for player number one who is at the piers. This is their location right by the hot dog stand and the easiest way to find it which I'm going to show you on the map here instead of just coordinations is from Camp Clinton. All you have to do is go straight up 12th Ave and turn left at the first part of the piers. Or if you want to, you can fast travel to resistance, but then you have to turn around and walk back anyways. Either way, it's your choice. It's not that far of a walk. You can do it from the carrier. Player number two who is at the disco right in front of the dance floor. That is where the second X is located. The easiest way to get to the disco is straight down West 49th Street. Again, you can fast travel to the carrier, go straight up 12th Avenue, take a right on West 49th Street, and it will take you straight into the disco location where Andrew is located right now. Then player number three, who is myself, which I am located in the garage. Uh, again, 12th Avenue, go to the carrier and go straight down to West 56th Street. That is where you will find the garage. You'll see a bunch of burnt trucks. The roads are burnt and that is where you find myself. I'm also closest to the doors and it... I would say put a little waypoint to the doors just to make life easier to get there when you get to the second part. Now, when phase two begins after phase one is complete, which you guys heard a little bit earlier of all the watches being activated, what we did was we put each agent closest to the second X 
just so that running distance and time wasn't too much of an issue because you've got about two minutes to complete this. So agent number one uh, from phase number one, which is the piers, will run to the barrels. Now you will have NPCs that do spawn all the time out here in the, uh, the open world of the west side piers, so make sure that you do not die. If you die, you will have to start the whole thing all over again because it will make you respawn at Camp Clinton and for whatever reason that actually resets the whole thing. So just go ahead and follow the path that we are on and you'll see exactly where the barrels are located right underneath this bridge. I figured it would be a lot easier to show you guys the path that we ran on and show you the streets where everything is located just because instead of coordinates and then you have to go and find them yourself because uh, I, to be completely honest just seeing where, where these things are and how to get from one to the next I found was just much much simpler player number two who is in the disco all they have to do they actually have one of the shorter routes is from the X facing the dance floor turn left Turn right out to the first door here, which will then take you to the next door that leads out onto the street. You can go ahead and just pull your sidearm, run down the street. Sometimes again, an enemy will spawn here and there. So if you have a turret or seeker mines, go ahead and put those down. Keep the enemies away from you. As you can see, there's one of the rioters that just came out of absolutely nowhere come up to this gate where the taxi is, turn right, you will see this white van, hop up on the white van, and once you're on this rooftop of the car wash, you are literally going to be right on top of the X. So that is the simplest and quickest way to get there. Now player number four, who only has to stand on Sarah roof from the piers, the easiest way is to run straight down 55th Street, turn a right at, well, you'll see the big building, and then go down West 53rd Street. You can actually run across the park to West 53rd if you want to, and some people will also say that you can go straight down West uh, 55th, go up the rope that's on the left side of the building and go across the roof. But the reason why I cut down to West 53rd Street is that that rope, once you go up it, you land on top of the roof, right on top of the X itself. No more moving required and you don't have to search for it whatsoever, which I found was just very, very simple. So again, I know people are going to say, you could have just shown us this on the map. Yeah, I could have. Um, and I pretty much do show you where the locations are on the map but the west side piers are a very large location we have a lot of new players here in the division not a lot of people are that familiar with the west side piers so i thought that i would just show you a direct path same thing that i did with the open world bosses a place to run from to and from to make it a lot easier for all of you. If you're familiar with the West Side Piers, then, well, the street names should be good enough for you guys to get it done. But other than that, this is what I found to be the easiest way. Go up this rope, which is behind the truck, which is very easily, you could not see that, it's kind of hidden. Get on top of the roof, and there you have the Sarah Roof X. Okay, and now that you know where to go, from phase one and phase two this is what it looks like and i am player number three this is my perspective so each player will activate their watch you will press square if you are on playstation x i believe if you are on xbox one and i'm not sure what it is on pc your watch will make a little sound once you again have heard power activated you know the doors open then everyone should run to their secondary locations. Mine is the doors that will open, that will give me access to the laptop. Make sure that once, if you are the person that is running to the door to open it, 
don't activate the laptop until the rest of your team gets there because they need to activate it too and also get those rewards. If you are the one, again, also running to the doors like I am myself here, by the time you get to that red car that I'm passing, that's when you can tell everybody to go ahead and hit their X's and then now you'll get to hear what it sounds like if everybody has done everything correctly this door will let you know that you are able to open it you can go ahead and run down the stairs and this is what happens and this is what you hear if everything is done correctly and again just make sure that everybody is here before you hit that button all right here we go but no luck. It's been on loop since we first picked it up. If anything changes, I'll let you know. Alright, so there is the combination and the three caches that you get. You get one exotic cache, a classified cache, and then the most interesting, in my opinion, which is the West Side Pier Cache, like Chief just said. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one up first, actually, because it's got specific weapons. The Fireman's Super 90, the JTF P416 Mark II, the Hazmat P416 Mark II, EMT P416 Mark II, and the Survivor AK-47 Mark II. So now I will go ahead and I'll do a review afterwards of all of these weapons. All right, and that was the original audio of us coming down here, activating the laptop, and then opening up our caches. I was the most excited about the weapons cache because those are some pretty rare and unique weapons considering that you cannot recalibrate them. They don't show up in your inventory when you go to reroll them or optimize them. But yeah, a lot of people were disappointed with the rewards. I'm also going to open up my classified and exotic cache, by the way, so you guys do see what I get out of them. But I wasn't disappointed with this at all. I actually thought it was pretty cool to do this. It was pretty fun. And it was something completely different for the Division. And I actually hope that they do give us more little quest lines like this to do. Especially with the fact, uh, again, with the weapons. And if you do get an exotic or a piece of classified gear that you needed, even better. So... Anyways guys, I hope that this guide was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns down in the thoughts and comments below. Once again, please drop a like on the video if it was helpful because it did take a lot of time to put together. And once again, a very huge thank you to the team for helping me collect uh, all, all of the pieces of the puzzle to go ahead and make this guide possible for all of you. Other than that guys, I will see you soon in the next video.